This is Mr. Miller, the principal of Centennial High School, and this is this week's video blog. Sorry that this week's weekly message is a little bit late. We'd actually recorded this part of the weekly message a few days ago, and we're in the process of editing it. But I had an experience that happened to me, and I'd like to share a little bit of my thoughts from that experience. On Saturday, I got the great opportunity to go with some of our Centennial youth and also other youth up on a sledding trip. It was an amazing time. Our students were doing an awesome job, enjoying one another, and also just making snow people, having fun and sledding. Unfortunately, in the middle of this, I was walking and I actually got hit and taken out by a sledder. You probably see it was a pretty traumatic experience. I'm going to be hurting for many days. And after I was hit and was getting up and going to be checked out, I was amazed at the number of students that stopped and asked me, Mr. Miller, are you okay? Is there anything we could do? I was almost brought into tears as a principal. How outstanding our students were that they would stop what they were doing, stopping their activities just to make sure I was okay. And I shouldn't have been surprised because every day as I get to walk the halls, I get to go to after school events, I get to see the great things that each of our students do each and every day. It's not the big acts that we talk about in the weekly message, such as the cheer competitions and the assemblies, and those things are all great, but it's the little things that matter. It's stopping and saying, are you okay? Is there anything we could do? It's the times that I walk through the halls and I see somebody drop their books and I see another student stop, pick up their books for them and help them to class. I can't tell you the number of times I've walked into a math class and seen students helping one another, walked into study hall and saw the same thing, or even uh, the study hall for our basketball team and saw the same thing of our students supporting one another. Students that see other students hurt and they stop and they use those same words. Are you okay? What can I do to help? So I should have been surprised when our students did the same for me. As the principal, and especially in the last few weeks, we've had an increase in number of different conflicts that have led to violence. And during these, I've had the experience of talking to different parents and community members and hearing some of the negative things that our students are, do. But what I can tell you, the positives far outweigh the negatives. It's amazing every day what our students do to support one another love one another, respect one another. They truly show the best of Centennial High School, the best of our community, because they are the best of who we are. So I just wanted to reflect a little bit and share a little bit with you. Our students are awesome. And if you ever want to make a difference in their lives, volunteer, come and help. Right now, we are running different internship programs. If you're interested and you run your own company and would like to volunteer some of our students that are on a career path and want to get out and get experience in the real world while working on their high school diploma, please call and contact Mike Henderson. Or if you're interested in helping some after school clubs, like, or if you're interested in helping one of our tutorial clubs and helping students continue to learn their academics and support one another and support them, please call our sun coordinator or activities coordinator. If you're interested in supporting our athletics program, either through boosters or through lots of other volunteer opportunities, please call our athletic director, Dante Gouge. If you'd like to help some of our students of color, please reach out to our REAP program. If you would like to just help out in school, please call the office and fill out a volunteer form today, or just take the time and talk to our youth and our teenagers because they are incredible people. Each of them is so unique and they're on their life journeys and they are just incredible people that you could help them on their career and their life paths. But most of all, what I'm telling you is the principal of Centennial High School, get involved. Our youth are incredible. Every day they are making a difference in our school. They're making a difference in our community and they are representing the best of who we are as the parents, families, and community members of this centennial community. So support them to become even better. I am the proud principal of Centennial High School. I would not um, trade the experience even with all the bumps and bruises that I just had because I got to see the best of our students and know that they are continuing to help and make this a supportive environment, not only in this school, but this community. So as the principal of Centennial High School, I leave you with these words in our motto. Once an eagle, always an eagle. So get involved because we soar together at Centennial High School. Go Eagles. 
hey, in the last week, we've seen an increase of conflicts that are leading to violence, which is hurting our school community. And it does not represent the values of our Eagle Nation. We want all our students to learn to solve conflicts appropriately because it's a skill that you can use your whole life. But sometimes that means asking for help. Yeah. Parents, please talk to your students about how to solve conflicts. And then as part of that, we're going to be reteaching and re-educating students about conflict resolution. We're also going to be starting some other initiatives. Um, Mr. Schumacher, can you tell us about that? Uh, one of the initiatives that uh, Assistant Principal Carl Reinhold is taking on is that he's going to uh, be posting some posters around the school. There'll be some QR codes on there. You can scan those. You can get some information about skills, who to talk to. But we really want you to come talk with us, right? We're not here to be judgmental. We're here to help you solve the problem and to work through it. And I think if you talk to some of the students who've been in our offices, you'll find that that's the case. Yeah, Mr. Reinhold's going to talk a little bit more. I want to have a, a learning community where we're all going in the right direction, we're learning, we're loving, we're caring for each other, and we're creating a space where the world outside of Centennial, it can be what it is. But inside our building, we want peace, we want learning, and we want growth. And so please, families, uh, ask your child if they are having any issues at our school to come to talk with an adult so we can set up an opportunity to figure out what that is all about and not have anything happen that becomes a physical altercation. We care about you. We want peace in our building. We want learning to happen. Um, and we want our high school to represent and become one of the best high schools on the West Coast. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Robinson. We're celebrating Black History Month here at Centennial High School. What can mm -hmm. you tell us? Hello, everyone. My name is Ms. Robinson. I'm a teacher here at Centennial. I want to tell you a little bit about our Black History Month Spirit Week and what it involves, okay? So first, starting out, happy Black History Month. Second, Monday on February 13th, we're going to have 2000s Day. So wear clothes from your favorite 2000 era. Tuesday is going to be Artist Appreciation Day. So recreate your favorite iconic look from an artist or show up in their merch. So wear a shirt that has maybe a graphic tee that has an artist on it, right? Something like that. Wednesday, it's going to be Culture Day, right? We want to celebrate everyone's culture. So show uh, your pride by wearing your culture's traditional clothing. We've got two more. Uh, Thursday is going to be Soul Train Thursday, right? Bust a move and join in your Soul Train Day, right? Outfit. Wear 70s inspired outfits in remembrance of this hit 70s show. And Friday, red, green, and yellow. So uh, show your support for Black History Month by wearing red, green, and yellow. And those are colors are connected to Africa. Majority of um, flags have those colors in it. And so that's where that connection comes from. Okay. So enjoy Spirit Week next week. And awesome. And we also have a Spirit Week assembly next week um, all around, and it's being put on by a BSA. What can you tell us about that? Yes, yes, we do have an assembly happening on Friday uh, that is put on by the Black Student Union. And what's nice about it is we're going to have a variety of things. The uh, gym will be decorated in different colors with balloons, ribbons, different stuff like that. We're going to have a guest speaker. We're going to have a dance performance. And we're also going to have a different game in which there are prizes involved. So it's going to be a great time to show up for an assembly on that Friday. All right. Um, go Eagles. Go Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> Just a big shout out to all of our drama students that um, fall for us for state. I mean, there's so and then in sports, what is happening? Yeah. Congratulations to Miss McCarty and all the work she's doing with our drama kids. That's just awesome to have that many kids qualify. So that's really exciting to see. You know, we have a busy week coming Monday. Both basketball groups, boys and girls, will travel to Canby. Um, on Wednesday, we will host the, the Northwest Oregon Conference novice wrestling match. So that'll have all the gyms occupied during that. Um, and then on Thursday, uh, we'll host a couple of basketball games. The girls basketball team will play Forest Grove and the JV2 team will play Nelson. And then Friday, we will have some swimmers hopefully qualified for the state meet. So that'll be exciting to see who qualifies out of the district meet. And then we'll have a girls uh, freshman basketball team against McNary. And then on Saturday, um, the dance team again, this is next Saturday, the 18th, uh, we'll have the big Park Rose Elite Dance Competition. So the dance team will be there and then some more cheer championships and the district tournament for wrestling will start. So, yeah, it's a busy week coming up. Um, and don't forget, the first day of spring sports is February 27th. That's Monday. And you have to have all your clearance with the athletic office prior to the first day of practice. So a lot of, a lot of stuff happening, really getting exciting.
All right. Um, if you're interested in spring sports, make sure you turn in your forms and get out there and go Eagles. Go Eagles. Remember, once an Eagle, always an Eagle, because we soar together at Centennial High School.